Alors, jour 2 sur vacarme.net, on est là avec Kai Jinbi de North. So, hey Kai Jin, how are you after the match? Uh, I'm really happy, I'm exhausted as well, but I'm really happy. So, we're uh, coming back on this match. So, first map, it's your map, Cobblestone. You're losing uh, a third game, <laughs> 16 to 5. Yeah. Uh, what was your mindset for the team uh, during this match? Uh, our mindset was that we really wanted to to show that we are a new team now with well on the team like we start to play a, diff a different style uh, compared to what we did with Emil uh, because um Gvalle is bringing some more team play to the team so it means it's easier to, easier for us to play structured um but doing our game against uh, SK it was really hard on couple uh we didn't expect them to play that well on T side as they did um last time we tried to pick a uh, cash against them Uh, and it, it didn't work out, but so we decided to, to bring back Cobble, but uh, yeah, they kind of destroyed us. So second map is Train, their choice. Uh, where are you prepared for SK on Train? Uh, we were, we knew that we were going to play Train, uh, but we, it was not like we, we were like anti strutting them at all. Uh, it's, we did like some minor anti strutting like some setups they did, but that, but that not, not really anti strutting uh, we, we wanted to play our own game. Um, But we, of course, we practiced a lot of strain before this tournament because we won like as a joker before this tournament uh, because we have not been playing train in the past. So this was actually our first game ever on train, as far as I remember. Uh, so yeah, it went well. And then last map, it's uh, Inferno. Um, your first half, it's pretty not easy, but uh, it's a great score, 13 to two. Um, and then SK is coming back. Uh, had you a talk uh, during a pause or something to to motivate you to to not uh, struggle this much? We just want to stay calm. We we needed those two last rounds, uh, and we just we just had to say we got we gonna do this, guys, because we had like we have it felt like we had the right mentality to doing even though they were starting to do a comeback. No, no one was like whining or screaming or anything. People were staying calm, doing the whole their comeback. Uh, so that's that, that's a really good mentality. I'd, I'd like to applaud the team for it because that's that's how it should be. And here in Malmo, it's almost like your home. It's just a few kilometers away from the stadium in Copenhagen. <laughs> Is that uh, easier for you to to play in those conditions? I don't know if it's easier. It's it's more comfortable. Uh, like I live like like it's 20 minutes from here so it's it's really nice uh but it's i don't i don't i'm not into like the the home soil advantage i don't believe in that uh but of course it's nice to be here uh we're gonna come back on the chant on the team uh you add valde um how did you choose him uh on the add you as uh, the major players in mind uh we talked about talk about uh, talked about Mertz from our academy team as well uh if he should uh, replace me as an opera and i would have gone gun rifling rifle Uh, but we decided that it would have been better with Wall, with Wall uh, because we didn't. It wasn't really the the op which was the problem. It was that we needed the team player, and if I was going to be the team player, I couldn't play with the op at the same time. Um, and Mertz is a really good player, uh, but in the end, we we decided to choose Wall because he's he's really good at team player and a, and a good individual player. So it's uh, magic to cost. Uh, <laughs> it was a cost to to. Uh to bench Magic or to replace him. So was it a problem f of team play from him? I don't know if it was, it was not like, we, we tried so many things with him. We, we tried to put him as a, as a carry and a team player, and it's, but, it, but it, was not like, it was not his fault at all. It was like just the, the chemistry didn't work anymore. And we couldn't get the, find that thing which would make us a great team again. So at some point we had to do, to do a change. Um, so we tried, we, I, felt, I felt like we tried everything, but in the end it didn't work. Okay, and then I'm um, gonna talk about uh, about uh, last year for Epicenter during Dignitas for the team. It was like your your peak as a team. You were well, like monsters, and then after going to North, the team wasn't uh, like uh, had he uh, the team hadn't this level. That's true. And uh, yeah, I don't what know. happened? I don't know what happened. Um, to be honest, I think we felt like. We did everything. I feel, I feel like we did everything, but we couldn't really get back to that peak. Um, we got we won much in, matches there and here, uh, but we couldn't really win against an, an best of three. Like in the last, I think it's like six months, 
we went to a lot of playoffs, but all the best of threes, we actually lost them. So this was our first best of three one in like six months, five, six months. So that's, of course, really good for us. It's, it's, it says that we're in the right path. Um, but I don't know how to, I don't know what happened in that period. Uh, to finish, uh, I'm going to talk about the future. So what's your goal? Uh, do you think you can go at like uh, top five to, to go on top fives on tournaments or like regularly? And uh, what do you need to, to be in this top five? Uh, we need to keep playing a lot. Uh, we need to keep getting well into our things uh, and making new st threats all the time. We need to stay focused as we are now and making, even though we make mistakes in games, we start fixing them after the games. N not like waiting for one, two, one or two days. We fix them instantly so that we make sure that we actually fixing them. Um, but it's important. The most important part is to stay focused now. Okay, I'm gonna say good luck for the, the finals, the bracket. Thank you.